Welcome to the biology information session. First things first, if you're looking at doing biology just to cut up a frog, I've got some bad news for you. Unfortunately, it's probably not going to happen. So if that's the only reason that you're looking at doing biology, it's probably not the subject for you. So why study biology? What's the point? Why should we do it? Well, Biology can help us understand the world that exists around us. We can learn how many different organisms and species can interact with each other and how they function as well. The many different fields within biology can also give us insight into the past and also help us to shape our future through the development of various technologies and the like. So that's why I should study biology. If you are interested in the world around you, then this is your subject. There are many different career opportunities that exist within the field of biology. Okay, I've got one there, biologist. That is probably the most um, commonly thought of career to study biology, but there are many different careers, including ecologists, working as a forensic scientist, pharmacologist, even a teacher. But there are many, many more careers out there that um, will need you to have studied biology in order to do it. Okay? And the way you check that is to look at what you want to do uh, and then check the prerequisites for the required courses at uni. And you'll see that biology is actually a prerequisite for a lot of different courses if you are going on to study at university. So biology has four different units spread across year 11 and 12. Unit 1 and 2 you will conduct in year 11, and unit 3 and 4 you will conduct at the end of year 11 and um, through the start of year 12. Each unit will have different assessment, and you will complete four assessment pieces over unit one and two and four assessment pieces over unit three and four and the aim of those is for uh, unit one and two in year 11 you will complete um, the same four pieces of assessment that you would in year 12. the only difference is that these are formative so that means it doesn't go towards your actual atar ranking okay it is literally just formative it goes towards your um reporting still and your marks but doesn't go towards your atar that you get at the end of year 12. think of it as a bit of a practice run to make sure you know how to do it for year 12. so so what are we going to look at in year 11. year 11 like i said two units um each unit has two topics each uh, you will look at different topics within those two units, such as the cell membrane, homeostasis, or how we can keep our internal environment the same, uh, enzymes, infectious diseases, and a lot more. Okay, like I said, this assessment is formative. Okay, so if you see an F in front of your IA, that means it is a year 11 assessment and is formative. We do four assessment pieces, and these are mirrored in year 12 as well. So first off, we start with a data test. We then move on to a student experiment. We look at a research investigation after that and finish things off with an exam. Year 12, once again, two units each with two topics each. The topics within these two units include biodiversity. You can look at ecosystems, my favorite genetics, biotechnology, natural selection, macroevolution, and much more. So the year 12 units are designed to sort of build on what you start to look at in year 11, and that includes assessment as well. So the assessment takes a step up in year 12 as well. And of course, that includes that it being summative. So that means it actually goes towards your ATAR. We do the same four assessment pieces. There is a data test. Now the data test is your IA1, and that is only worth 10% of your overall um, ATAR. We then move on to your IA2, which is a student experiment. That is worth 20% of your overall ATAR. Your IA3 is a research investigation worth 20%, and your IA4 is an examination, which is worth a whopping 50%. Now, what we need to remember with 
this um, assessment is that there are two different types. Your IA 1, 2 and 3 are delivered internally. So that means that they are made by the college and marked by your teacher. Okay, so your IA 1, 2 and 3 are made internally and marked internally. Your IA 4, however, is external. So that means it's both written and marked externally by QCAA. Okay, so your 50% external exam is written and marked by QCAA, whereas 50% of your overall mark is made internally. So what will your data testing include? Like I said, it's 10% of your overall grade. You'll need to respond to items using qualitative and or quantitative data, which can come from the case studies, practicals, or the activities that may be in the unit that you are studying. You will be asked to respond to two to four data sets that contain a number of different items. These items could include a short response, such as a single word, short response or short paragraph response questions. You might need to calculate using algorithms or you may need to interpret data sets like a graph or a table of values. Your student experiment is worth 20%. You'll need to modify an experiment in order to address your own related hypothesis or question. You can choose a practical done in class or one that you find elsewhere. This can be either a written report of 1500 to 2000 words or a multimodal presentation of 9 to 11 minutes. Your research investigation. You'll need to gather secondary evidence related to a research question in order to evaluate a claim. A list of claims will be given to you and you can choose the one that interests you. Once again, you can complete either a written report or a multimodal presentation and that is worth 20% of your mark. And finally, the external examination, which is worth 50% of your overall mark. This assessment piece is developed and marked by QCAA and assesses learning from both units three and four. Every school completes the exact same exam on the same day at the same time under the same conditions. There are two exams, both are 90 minutes long and they have a 10 minute perusal. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed this presentation today and that you've learned something about biology. Remember, if the world around you interests you, if you like to learn how things work, or if you um, enjoy nature, then biology is your subject.